Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got two pals in front of me. They stack quite high, that's why I'm so close to the camera. But if you saw the thumbnail of the video, you'll see that it said abandoned pages versus my most coloured in books. So this has been quite interesting because I went through all my shelves and I am quite disgusted in how many books I've abandoned because I really didn't think I had this many books. So yeah, which ones should we go for first? Du, 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 du. We'll go for the abandoned ones. Then we can end on a happy, this is what I've done the most in. <laughs> so I'm going to move these out of the way and we'll be right back. So the first book that I have abandoned is this one. So it's an edition of Colouring Heaven magazine. And I purchased this one because I hadn't got any of Anastasia's books at the time. And the shipping was quite expensive. But then she brought out a Marantine or a Marantine. And I decided to bite the bullet and purchase that book. So I've not coloured in this one now because the paper is a lot better in the actual, you know, book from Anastasia so unfortunately yeah this one's not been coloured in nothing in here and it's the same with quite a few colouring heaven editions I do get some to flip through on the channel to give you all an idea of what's in the books to save you you buying them yourself and then not liking what's inside so yeah I have quite a few colouring heavens so maybe you know, when things ease off a bit, I might have to do some giveaways of some of my Colour in Heaven magazines. But we'll see. Let me bring you down a little bit now. We've got rid of that big stack. That's a bit better. So that's the Colour in Heaven Mermaid Special Anastasia Ellie Cold Weaver. The next Colour in Heaven is the Burlesque Special. And yeah, I bought this one on a whim. I flipped it through on the channel and I just don't think it's my cup of tea. It's just really not. So this is one that I will definitely be giving away at some point. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do the giveaways yet. When I can get to the post office and things. But yeah, not my cup of tea that one. The next abandoned book is another colour in heaven. This one is the mandalas. Now I was actually planning to colour in this because I do like doing mandalas when I'm not in the mood to do anything, you know, too too intricate, too detailed. I like getting my mark pens, my alcohol markers, I like sitting down and I like doing mandalas. So I might keep hold of this one because I probably will at some point. But there's some really nice ones in here. There's one with strawberries, which is quite nice. Don't know if I've already flipped past that one, but that's look at that butterfly one. It's a really cute addition, actually. Is that the strawberries? No, they're not strawberries, are they? But yeah, I just thought it was a really cute one. I don't know why I've not coloured in this yet. But as you'll find, I've got quite a few abandoned books. <laughs> so this is another colour in heaven. This one is Hatsune Miku or Maiku. And again, this is all manga style and yeah just not it's one i you flip through on the channel and then never colored in there is one page i quite like that has a teddy bear um but yeah just never got around to coloring in it so i probably will this will be one that i give away because it's really not my cup of tea the next one was the inktober coloring challenge special so again this is a bit of a mixed bag of illustrations in here a really mixed bag of stuff some of it i would color some of it i wouldn't so these ones are quite nice i like that one but yeah and then some of them are really not like these ones i would never color i wouldn't color those and again, those aren't my cup of tea either. But yeah. Another colour in heaven. Gorgeous. By Santorio that I've not coloured in yet. This is, you know, I when I bought this, um, I knew it was going to be quite popular with people. Because 
they do like these little characters um but it's really not something i'd color to be honest so this will probably be another one that i give away at some point yeah they're cute they're just not something i would color the next one um I've put it in the abandoned section because it's a recent issue that I've only just purchased so I've not got around to colouring anything in it yet but I would like to colour the Hannah Lynn pages. There's some that are just have regular illustrations around them with the writing but in the front or towards the middle of the book there is some Hannah Lynn pages which I really want to do. Um, there's a gorge, this one, I love this one. I love this one. So yeah. I will be keeping hold of this one. So that's all the colouring um, heaven abandoned books. Now we have this one by White Stag, The Misfits. Um, I bought three volumes of this book and I've only coloured in one of them, which is really bad. But again, it's one of them books that I sort of purchased on a whim and I got quite a few different ones just because there was, you know, there was a sort of budget book off Amazon um, but again it's it's not really my sort of thing I'm going to have to do a book colour I think at some point of the books that I know I'm not going to colour in so that's that one and that one's volume number one and we have volume number three that's also been abandoned there's, you know, there's some cute images in it. There really is, but it's just not something I'd sit down and colour. Yeah, I've seen that done quite a lot. And they always look amazing. I've seen this on Instagram done so many times with those balloons. But yeah, I don't think I could do anything amazing with that. But yeah, that's another abandoned one. Another abandoned book we have is Rainforest Birds and this one isn't because I don't like the book, I love the book, I've just not got round to colouring in it. Um, I have the hardback editions as well which are the intricate ink volumes and I do like colouring in those hardback books um, but this one's a soft cover off Amazon, I do really love them so I'm, I won't be getting rid of this one, I will be colouring in this at some point but it's just that I've not got round to it. So it's all you beautiful birds in that one. This is a book um, I've recently purchased and I bought this off someone selling it on Colour with Claire's Facebook selling page. So I purchased this, I think it was £8 and then I paid for postage as well. Um, but it's Linda Ravencroft's and I don't have any of her books. So I'll definitely be colouring in this but I've just not got very into it. And it's Painting and Colouring Book 3, Furby and Fantasy Art, on 300 GSM paper. So you can use any water mediums in here, I imagine. But yeah, I might put a little fr flip through on the channel, but it's really thick. Really thick, you know, cardstock. And it's ring bound, which is perfect for me. It is heavily grey scaled as well. It'll be quite interesting to see what this paper's like because it's really thick really thick i'll be interested to know what works well on it and what doesn't if you know if you have these books and you know what works well in them please drop me a comment down below and let me know but yeah that's abandoned so far <laughs> oh this is so bad you know when i first got into coloring i said oh but how could you buy a book and then just not color in it that's just strange and then here I am, a year and a bit down the line with all these books that I've abandoned. Shocking, shocking. So this is another abandoned book. This is Alan Roberts, Beauty of Horror 5, is it? I'm not good with reading these. Don't, don't come for me. I need to go back to school on how to read these uh, Roman numerals. That's what they are. But I think it's, I think it's five. No, maybe not. Drop me a comment down below. <laughs> But this one, it's a really fun book. You know what? Maybe I'll bring it back out again at Halloween around October time and do a page in here. But I'm gonna I'm going to have to. There's some really awesome pages in here. 
and the paper feels fantastic as well the paper feels brilliant but yeah you know what i think this got abandoned because i bought it around the same time as the cute and creepy by camilla derrico and i love that cute and creepy book so i think i just got a bit sidetracked with coloring in that and forgot about this that is brilliant i love that one but yeah i love this as well the ring love that so yeah another abandoned book oh dear so now i have this one now i have three of these because she has four or five different books uh, by tanya bond these ones uh, this is the only one that I've not coloured in. And this is Astro Winkling's Zodiac colouring book. But they're gorgeous. I could have even coloured one of these for the prompt for colour your star sign. If I'd have thought about it. But I've just, I, I completely forgot I even had this book. It was right at the back, squished in with all my other books. But yeah, this one's a fun one. And I do like Tanya Bond. I've coloured in the other two books I have. But for whatever reason... I've just not done anything. That's my star sign, Cancer. Beautiful little sand castle with the crab down there, see? Yep, abandoned. <laughs> Next up, we have this one. Now, at the time I purchased this one, I did get two other books from Charles Santor. I got The Wizard of Oz and I got The Alice in Wonderland. But I'm yet to colour in this. It is beautiful. I've just not got round to it because I was enjoying the Alice in Wonderland book. But I will definitely be colouring in this at some point. It's really lovely. We have the story on the left hand side of Peter Rabbit. Gorgeous illustrations. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll definitely be doing something in this. But the other book I've abandoned by Charles Santor as well is The Wizard of Oz. Now, the reason I've abandoned this one is because this one is a lot more detailed than the other two books. This has really tiny illustrations in it and that's just not my cup of tea. Um, we have some bigger ones, but we have the big story in the front. We have some larger images, which are okay, I don't mind. But then we start getting into really intricate... Look at this. Look at that. Look at all the detail in that. There's no way you'll catch me colouring that page. No way. Or any of that. That is tiny, teeny tiny. It's just... Re this one I love. This one is big. I might even colour that one. That one's not too bad. I've got this one tagged because it was a toss-up between this page and this page that I'm going to colour for the prompt, which is colour a page from an abandoned book on the Colouring Checklist Challenge. This is horrendously detailed. Look, I cannot colour anything like that, guys. I really cannot. I don't know where you, you do it. If people like to colour things like that, again, so detailed. That one, look at that. Look at that. I just cannot. I cannot. <laughs> So yeah, that's why that one's abandoned. Next up, I abandoned this one. Now, I got this quite some time ago now because I saw it on somebody's channel and I remember thinking, oh, that looks quite nice for a bit of mindless colouring. Um, All Birds in this one by Georgie Woolridge. And it is a lovely book, but it's a different sort of style of colouring. You could do your alcohol markers on this. But yeah, this is one that I've just abandoned. I like the owls. I like the ones with all the flowers around the outsides of them. They're pretty. That's really pretty with all that floral detail. But yeah, that's another abandoned book. How sad. You know what? I'm going to challenge myself to colour a page from an abandoned book each month. The next abandoned one is this one, Believe in Magic, an enchanting colouring book. Who is this one by? Who is it by? Illustrated by Claire Scully. And yeah, I got this one to flip. I think I might have flipped it on the channel because I thought it was a bit different and a bit quirky. Um, But then actually I realised that it was maybe too quirky for me and I wouldn't actually colour any of this. <laughs> so yeah. I think this is one I'm going to 
giveaway at some point because I just can't see myself colouring any of those pages unfortunately yeah that one's lovely the butterfly one's lovely but the rest I can't see me colouring to be honest so the next one's in my abandoned book section just because it's a brand new book. I only recently purchased this last week. I won't be giving this away, I absolutely adore it, but I've just not had a chance to colour a page in it yet. This is by Tomislav Tomic. I'm not going to pronounce that, but these are beautiful pages. Look at that. I did do a flip through of this, so if you're interested, just check out the playlist of flip throughs and it'll be on there. But yeah. This is yet to be coloured in. Fresh pages. <laughs> so the next abandoned book is this one. This is Miller Marotta's Brilliant Beasts. And this one's abandoned. I bought this one from Claire, from Colour with Claire. She was selling a lot of her collection and um, she was only asking for post postage. Um, so I just paid postage for this and it has been abandoned unfortunately. I haven't coloured a page in it. The only page that's coloured in it is the one that Claire coloured herself. Um, yeah, but I've not done anything in it. Nothing in there. Nothing, nothing. So well, uh, that's Claire's page. Claire coloured that. But yeah, I've not actually coloured anything in it. So that's another abandoned book. Another one that I've abandoned is this one. So again, it's just one I didn't get around to colouring in. I won this one on Tim Jeff's Facebook group page for a competition. And I love it. I love his illustrations. I've just not got around to colouring in it. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Look at that shark. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. But yeah, uncoloured. Next one is a colouring haven, Christmas charm colouring book. Now I bought this one around Christmas time and then I didn't get to colouring in it. But one of the prompts on the checklist challenge is colour a page from a creative haven book. This is the only creative haven book that I own, so I will have to pick a page in this to colour for that prompt. Um, but there's gorgeous pages in here. I've seen some beautiful ones pop up on Instagram. Colouring chat with Sam and did a gorgeous one in here around Christmas time it is a beautiful one really beautiful so the next one that I've abandoned is this one by Fabiana Atanasio this is Alice in Wonderland I got this last year and I've yet to colour in it I did start a page but I sort of didn't like how it was turning out and then I abandoned it so yeah there's only a whip in here um, if I can find it. Oh, there it was. I sort of started a background in here and I didn't like it. So then I just abandoned it. But really, I just need... All I need to colour is these little um, pocket watches and it's done. But yeah, it just threw me off because I didn't like the background. I don't know. What do you think? Drop me a comment down below. But yeah, that's abandoned. Abandoned, abandoned. The next abandoned book is another Tim Jeffs. I think I bought so many of Tim Jeffs books that I just didn't get a chance to colour in them all. Um, I've got vol I've got four volumes of this one, the hardback books. I've coloured in three of them and this one I've not coloured in. But I love these hardback ones. They're really nice. Really nice. The black backgrounds are really nice as well. Great if you want to practice your fur because he's already put in the shading so you just need to follow where the dark and lighter areas are. Absolutely brilliant these books i love them i love them i won't be getting rid of that and that's all my abandoned books done so next up i'm going to get onto the pile of books that i've colored the most in let's get these so the first one i've colored the most in is jasmine beckett griffith mermaids this is one of the very first books that i got on my coloring journey and I'm going to start from the back because it's easier to start from the back. But the pages I've coloured in this one, this is one of them. Love the pink hair on this one. Then we did this one. I did this one that's got some really reflective like washi tape on it. 
I was really experimenting with that page. We have this one. This was a body colour with Colour Me Stress Free. I have this one. This one. So I've coloured quite a lot in this book, as you can see. I've got a whip in here as well at the minute. Um, this is my whip. I just started this one. And this little cute little boot mark you can see here at the top. This was by Imaging Colouring Kid. Now they have, um, they arrived this morning actually. I'll just show you, they're the cutest little things ever. I don't know where one of them's, one of them's come off. But she has an Etsy shop now. And these are the little boot marks. There's three in a set, you can get different colours. But the handmade, she does this sort of, I can't do paper folding for, for the life of me. But they're really, really cute. Just a little paper fold there. So you pop it on the end of your page. It slips on and off so you can reuse them. They're super cute and they look brilliant on the page. I love them. So if you're watching Imogen, thank you so much. They've arrived safe, safely and I love them. I absolutely love them. So there's mine. I think she's put some different colours on the Etsy shop now actually. And um, she does sell other things, stickers and things. Yeah, so that's my whip. And then I did that one as well in this book. So yeah, I've done... Oh, the dust cover's coming off. I've done lots in that. Lots. Absolutely lots. So I'll just pop that behind me. So next up is Ocean Dreams by Mystic Heart Mirrors. I absolutely adore this book. If you can see the side, I've used lots of water medium in this book as well, which I absolutely love doing in these books because the paper in them is so thick and so so lovely. So let me just check I've not missed. No. So I did this one. This one was a colouring chat or a colour colour along actually. This one was a colour along on the channel in two parts. I did that one. This is one of my favourite all time pages, this one. This was another body colour with Colour Me Stress Free. Oh gosh. Is there any before that? So this one I printed on my own paper. So that's the image in the book, but I printed it on my own Strathmore Mixed Media paper and I used the Tombow pencils on that and they went down stunningly on that page. Another of my favourite ones. This one. That one, that one, I think that's it in that book. Next up we have another Mystic Art Mirrors book, this one's Galaxy Girls and Zodiac Signs. This was the first Mystic Art Mirrors book that I purchased. So I did that one, that one, that's my star sign again, this one, that one lovely green skin i think i did a tutorial on this one or maybe it was the page at the front um oh it was that one i did the tutorial on the skin so if you're interested in that if you go under playlist tutorials it'll be on there that's it in that one next up is color edge world 2 now i did complete this book but there's a couple of pages that i can't show you because i gifted them to my sister and mum when i completed them but there is a full flip of this on the channel as well my completed pages in here but i loved this book this is one of the one of the first 10 books that i got when i started coloring and i was experimenting with so much different things it was super fun i love this page still to this day but yeah that's it in that one Next up we have the Mandela's Magical Nature. Now, when I'm in a really low mood, I will just get my alcohol markers, possibly put some pencil over the top and gel pen and I'll sit down with this book. So I've done lots in here, I've done the title page. This one. This one. This one. That one. And as you can see, I love to experiment with my backgrounds as well in these mandalas. That one. 
I love this one. I love the colours on it. And quite a few I've not done there. Oh, that one. Lovely green leaf. <laughs> I think there's one more right at the end and that one so I've done quite a lot in that book I love it you know it's one of my favorites from the mindless coloring so next up this is a new book to me but I've done five pages in here so far I absolutely love this book I love this artist and I only wish that I'd have got one of her books sooner because this is the only book I have from Anastasia Ella called Reaver so the pages I've done in here is this one. So I think I did this in a live stream on the channel. Then I did the fur on the horse. Next I did this one. I love how delicate that looks. Next up I did this one. I absolutely love it but I'm gutted about the skin. I tried doing it with my pastel pencils it didn't turn out right then I tried blending it with some odorless mineral spirits it went even worse so then I my only hope was to go over the whole thing with my regular Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and then it just turned into a block colour so it doesn't have any highlighting in the skin and you know it's unfortunate but I'll, I'll keep trying I'm not being put off this one I love then I have this one which is a recent page I did that on the channel and um, the only thing I didn't show on the channel was that I put this black background in at the end Um, I noticed that it just didn't look right it didn't look complete with a white background so I went in and did a black acrylic background I love how he turned out so yeah and that's all the pages so far in that one absolutely beautiful book that I can't recommend them enough I know the shipping's atrocious um, but it's so worth it, so worth it. So I've actually got a Colour in Heaven edition that I've actually done quite a few pages in. So this was the Ennis Guerrero special. I do believe it was a quite popular one at the time as well because she's quite well loved, Ennis Guerrero. So I did this one. Did that one. I'll start at the back, it'll be easier to find them because there is only a couple more, but oh, there's that one. I went to town with that one, I splatted black all over the background <laughs> for effect. I think, oh yeah, this is my last page, the unicorn one. But yeah, I love Ennis Guerrero. So next up is in Fragile Worlds and I have two copies of this because I messed one of the pages up in one so I had to get myself another copy. So <laughs> I've got two pages completed in one book and then a few more in, an, in the other book. So the first one in here is these. I absolutely love this. If you're interested in this page it was a colour along up on the channel or a time lapse, can't quite remember. Um, but I used the Derwent Ink Tents for the dogs and Distress Ink for the background. The other one in here was these parrots. And then in my other copy of the book, I have the gorilla. I have this frog page, which was in the other book, but it fell out, so I just stuck it in there. <laughs> and then what else do we have in here? Let's have a look. Oh, we have the koalas. And we have my tiger, er, uh, jaguar, sorry, <laughs> my jaguar page. I love that page. That's it in the Fragile Worlds by Kirby Rose Ends. Next up is the Love Pug. Again, this is my mindless colouring book. So I've almost completed this book, but I've not done one in a while, quite a while, to be honest. I'm not going to flip them all because they are samey, samey. I'm sure you know what colour by number are like. But yeah, I really love that for mindless colouring. I do occasionally use some glitter gel pen on these as well. Like I'll switch out a red for a red glitter gel pen and things. But yeah, love that for mindless colouring. Next up is Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder. So I'm going to start from the back on this one. I've got some whips in here at the minute as well. So I did this page. 
Oh, I did the pointillism page. I did this page. This is a whip, so I've bla I've not blacked it out. I've put a blue um, acrylic paint in the background so far. So I've just got to colour these now. This you might have seen on my channel. I've just got a piece of um, wax paper to protect it because it's very messy, even though I've sprayed it. But this, as I was testing out my oil pastels, so really, really messy, really messy. But I just thought, how fun, how fun. So put that there to protect it a bit. This is another whip. So again, I've put a acrylic background on, so I just need to do the balloon. I did this B. I absolutely love this book love it i think that's it yeah that's it so next up we have hannah kelson's tales from the forest kingdom and i did the title page let's go from the back again this was a double page spread i did the frog i'm sure there was one more i think i've just missed it oh the bug a little beetle so that's that one we have moonlit veil by annie stegg so that's a protective sheet that comes with it which is a quite a cute touch i did that one there's all the pages at that one that one this is a favorite i love i love my owl i just love how that came out and this one that's it i think gorgeous gorgeous boot that one so next up we have my two most colored boots in so these are the ones i've done the absolute most pages in so i've saved the best to last <laughs> so this is an update on the cute and creepy i did do a flip of what i had done so far a while ago but i've added a couple of pages to it since so i did this one this one this one little frankie b owl I'm saving some of these pages for Halloween as well. Coming up. I absolutely adore this book. It's my most favourite book, as you can tell. I've just gone to town in it. I absolutely adore it. She's one of my favourite artists as well. There's a lot of pages towards the centre I've not done. My little skeleton. <laughs> this one I love. I love this page. It's the first time I tried this glow from the TV onto a face. I love it. This one. And these two pages. So as you can tell, it's a much loved book. Cute and creepy, Camilla Derrico. Brilliant. If you've not got this book, you need it in your life. <laughs> I love it. So last book I've got to show you is the Hannah Kelson Midnight Masquerade. Another book that I absolutely love. I love this new format of the books. I love the Swedish editions that have the cloth bound front covers. They are beautiful. I've done that page. This one. I wasn't keen on this page at all. I hated the colours that I picked out. Ugh, no, I hated that page. <laughs> I loved this one. Loved that one. I love this one. Absolutely love the colours on that one. Again, I love this one. This one. 
That one was all Derwent ink tents for everything and then Distress Ink there. Oh, this is a recent one that I've done. This one. So yeah, and that's it. That's all I've got to show you. So that was my abandoned book versus most coloured in books. I hope you really enjoyed watching it. I just um, thought it'd be a nice idea to see what everybody's, you know, abandoned as books because I never realised I had so many that I'd abandoned, which is so sad. Um, when I decide to do a giveaway of the Colouring Heaven editions that I don't want, I will let everybody know, so don't worry about that. But it's not going to be right at this moment in time. Please do hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe and notification bell if you've not already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye everyone.